Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video I'll be showing you how to build and deploy a dedicated server in just a few minutes. And thanks to the new partnership between EdgeCap and Pernet, it's now simpler than ever, and I'll be starting with only Pernet installed and nothing else. So first things first, everything that I'll be going over here is in written form as well on the documentations page for EdgeCap in the Pernet documentations. All right, cool. Let's start by going into tools, Pernet, and into the add-on library. And once this is loaded, you'll see that we're met with EdgeCap here, and we can just go ahead and click install. Now, if you don't already have Git installed on your computer, you do need Git for this to work. And this is also mentioned in the docs, because otherwise it can't pull in the uh, package. All right, cool. So now that that's installed, we can easily go ahead here to Tools, Burnet, Edge Cap, and then verify the requirements. Now, by clicking here, it'll essentially tell us that Docker is not running. So you can open the docs and install Docker if you don't already. Now, I already have Docker. I just haven't opened it. So I'm going to go ahead and open Docker and wait for that window to open up. And there we go. Now we can see that Docker has successfully started. So now let's go run the verification tool again. And there we go. All requirements are met. Now there's a chance here that you have not met the requirements of the module for the Linux dedicated server. The way that we get around that is just by opening up Unity Hub, finding your Unity version under installs, and go ahead and click add modules. Then you'll just scroll down till you find Linux dedicated server build support. And you tick that and you hit install. Then you wait for that to finish up here. And then after that, you'll just restart your Unity editor and you should be good to go. Now let's very quickly look at our network manager setup here. If we just check, you can see right now it's just running on the UDP transport, which is good. And because we now have EdgeCap, this new little box here have popped up to auto set up EdgeCap server port. And this is great. This means that we now actually need to do absolutely nothing for build supporting with the UDP transport. Now, if you were to use the web transport, it's the exact same thing. You wouldn't actually have to do anything as long as it can just start up locally and it'll actually set up its own port correctly. But in my case, we're using UDP. So let's just stick to that. Make sure we're using the UDP transport for the dedicated server. And that's really it. So let's go ahead up to tools and to EdgeCap server hosting. And this will open the EdgeCap window, which I'll just dock over here. And as you can see, first things first, we need to sign in with EdgeCap. All right, and now I'm signed into EdgeCap. Next thing, I'll click to get token. And then here on my window, I've received a one-time token. I can just click to copy that, go back into Unity, put in the token and click validate token. And as soon as it's validated, the whole window has unfolded. Let's go down here and you can see here it also requires Linux server build support. And you can see the requirement is installed. Also, if we go into the build settings, let's make sure that we have the correct scene. So I'm going to drag and drop my shooter scene in here, remove the template because I don't need that. And there we go. Now I have the right scene and we can go ahead and hit build server. And there we go. Now the server is built. Now next we need to containerize it with Docker. Of course, you can also validate here. It will say Docker is running. And because the build folder name here, EdgeCap server, is the same as the path down here with build slash EdgeCap server, then we can just go ahead and containerize. If you change the name up here, make sure that it's pointing to the correct folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit containerize with Docker. And there we go. Now we can see the containerization has succeeded. Now, going further down, you can also choose to locally test your server if you want by just clicking here and it'll deploy to your local Docker. But this step isn't needed. Then we continue down and we say upload image and create app version. So let's click there. And here we go. Now you can see that open an edge cap window where you'll essentially be able to set up things like what should the versioning name be called? Also, which server setup do you want in terms of memory, virtual CPU and so on? But I'm just going to scroll down and go ahead and hit submit. And I'm not going to touch anything here. And the same thing for here. You can also see this is an internal port that you can set which protocol to use. In this case, it's UDP that we're using. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit submit again. And now you can see that this has all been created. And we can just go ahead now and hit deploy. And we can, of course, choose where that we want to deploy. You can see this is the free tier that I'm on. So we just have a one hour limit, which is really good for testing. Now I'm just going to go ahead and spin it up in Europe and hit deploy. And so right now it's deploying, but it'll take at max, I've seen this about 10 seconds for it to really deploy. And then you have a fully functioning server. So there we go. Now it's ready and it's spun up. So I'm going to scroll down. And down here where you see port mapping, or you can actually also see the host, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit copy here on the port mapping with external. And I'm going to go into Unity and onto our network manager. And I'm going to make sure that I don't start as host. Now I just want to start as a client. Uh, and I'm going to go down into the UDP transport and I'm going to paste what we just got. And I'm going to take the port at the end here, the last five digits, and also remove the semi or the colon. And I'm going to put it into server port. And that's it. Now that I hit start, you can see we immediately start very, very quickly. And we're now started as a client. And that's working. So now we're spun up and we're connected to the dedicated server. And in my case here, I'm running with prediction on a UDP transport protocol. Now, that's really about it. 
I hope you want to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Very excited to see what people think about this and how easy it really is to set up. And other than that, I just hope you have a wonderful day.